operate and have folks uh, who work for us who are in 65 countries. So for us, diversity is a fact of life. Uh, anywhere you go in any Dell facility, you will find people different from those in other facilities and even different from one another, whether it's on the basis of gender, religion, race, ethnicity. You know, uh, so uh, for us, it, it is a fact of life having a diverse workforce. Uh, the challenge is to, to assure that that diverse workforce and that uh, workplace is inclusive. That is to work at assuring that regardless of your status outside uh, our facility, when you cross the threshold into a Dell facility, you can feel comfortable to bring your entire self with you. And if you do that, if we created a culture where you can bring your whole self to work, um, and we, we will then leverage that creativity, all those perspectives, and that will drive innovation, that will drive creativity, and we'll win in the marketplace. I don't see diversity and inclusion as, as soft. I see it as critical to long-term success. What investments do you make and, and hold on to during tough times? You may reduce the number of people in your operation, but you don't get rid of everybody. You may reduce the spend on technology, but you don't eliminate technology. The fact of the matter is that there is really no debate about diversity and inclusion. There is just no choice that as a company, you can't uh, operate in this world with a workforce that is not reflective of the talent pool that's out there and is not reflective of the marketplace. Uh, if for no other reason than those consumers care about it now, now. Consumers care about what you look like, whether they see themselves reflected in your product mix, your, uh, how you design your products, their advertising. So the, the challenge is to, to assure not just that you have representation that's diverse, but that you create a culture where those differences and those perspectives are allowed to, 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 to be voiced. If you get the diversity and inclusion equation right, if you get the sustainability as it relates to the environment and as to people right, you've got to also have the giving strategy that's aligned with that. It all flows from your values as a, as a company and as a, as a corporate citizen. And so it's important that your giving be reflective of the communities in which you operate, which tend to be very different and diverse. Uh, your employees, because you want to tap into that passion um, and what they think are important, because they're going to help drive this, and money is only part of it. It's, it's uh, you know, how do you get involved in communities to have an impact and to make, and make a change? So, you know, if we just gave away computers, uh, that in and of itself wouldn't, wouldn't uh, bring about the kind of meaningful change and impact that we can have if we had, as we do in many places, our employees engaged in communities working with schools and community organizations around technology and what technology means and how you can leverage technology and our products, uh, both uh, services and software and equipment, um, you know, help to leverage that and drive that. But it's the people that are going to bring that kind of esoteric part of it, the, the, the qualitative part of it, that's going to have the impact long term.